Hey, how you doing? We're going to take a look at window and door tags, okay? So we're going to make a tag that can uh, that's customizable. So within the same family, you can have various types. So the one tag tags the, the mark, another the type mark, or the, the dimensions, the width and the height, and then combinations of those within the same tag. Uh, all right, let's just go ahead and get into it, okay? All right, so here's my sample Revit project, just a small little house type thing. Okay, it's a flat floor plan. There it is in 3D, okay? It's got a bunch of windows and doors, that's the point. Okay, all right, let's start with the window tag, okay? So in the file menu, go to New, Family, and go into the Annotations folder at the top, and all the way down to the bottom to Metric Window Tag, and Open. Let's start with the Mark tag, okay? So in the Create tab, we go to Label. Click on label, and here's our label text type. We've only got three millimeter here, so I'm gonna create a new type. I'm gonna work at two millimeter, okay? So edit type, duplicate, uh, two millimeter, okay. I'm gonna to choose to make my background transparent. You need to decide whether you want it to be opaque or transparent. And I'll change my uh, text size to two, and I'll just change that to five, and this to one. Okay, and okay. All right, so your horizontal and vertical alignment, uh, text alignment are centered, okay? And um, we have a crosshairs. We want to write in the center of that, okay, the placement point. So just zoom into the the intersection of the crosshairs. It's not gonna snap to it, just click it. Uh, click it again if you need to, and there we are. All right, let's tag the mark first, okay? That's the instance mark. So scroll down this list of parameters and find mark, there it is. We click the green arrow to fire it into the box to the right, and whatever's in here is what's gonna add into the, the the tag okay so okay and there's our tag escape escape i'm going to select that tag and give it a visibility control okay so in the properties uh, instance properties over here i'm going to click in the little gray associate family parameter button and i'm going to call this parameter so i have to create a new one and call it uh, mark and delete that as a type under other is fine okay okay all right, I'm just going to hide that uh, temporarily, that, that mark. So select it, uh, go to our temporary hide option down here, the sunglasses, click it, and hide element. Go to create, label, and click on the same point. Okay, this time we'll do the type mark, okay? So scroll down to type mark, fire it in. Okay, there it is. Escape, escape, select it, visible. Associate parameter, new parameter, type mark, and OK, and OK, and I'll hide that one too. So, sunglasses down the bottom here, hide element. All right, so let's go back and do that again. Create, label, ping in the same spot in the intersection, and I'm going to look for my mark, green arrow in and my type mark this time. I'm gonna have both in the same label, type mark in. Actually, I think I want my type mark first, okay? So the type of window and then the location of the window, okay? Now, I'm going to just separate those. At the moment, it's it's gonna report on the, on the same line. If I clicked on a, the break, it'll separate the two parameters on two separate lines. So I don't want that, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a suffix uh, for type mark there. I'm gonna put a space and a dash, okay? And okay. There's our space and dash there. Okay. All right, let's give this a visibility control as well, okay? So, escape, escape, uh, select the label, and across from visible in the associate parameter box, click, and new parameter, we'll call it mark, oops, and type mark. Or the other way around, it doesn't matter. Okay, and okay. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new parameter, sorry, a new label, uh, this time I'm going to create a new text type. I want it just to be a bit smaller for the to, to report the dimensions. So I'll duplicate that to a 1.5 millimeter text. It's a bit small, but that's that's okay. That's what I want. 1.5 and okay. And it's going to click underneath the existing one, and we'll put in width, green box arrow, and height, and the green arrow. Now I'm going to put a suffix in after width with a space and x for multiply by, 
so it's width by height okay there it is escape escape just select that and nudge that down into the position where you want it maybe about there right select it again and give it a visibility control again associate parameter new parameter and height and width and okay okay actually I better save this before i lose it file save as family uh just pull that off screen say families okay window tag and save all right so let's just reset the temporary height click here and reset temporary height okay everything's back let's create some family types so up to the family types button on the ribbon select and we're going to create new types here so new let's go with mark first okay so mark okay and we get rid of everything except mark apply new mark and dims okay we'll turn on the uh, height and width apply new we we'll say mark type mark and dims okay so give it a mark and put a mark and type mark on apply new uh, type mark okay so turn that off and that off and type mark apply new type mark and dims okay turn that and that on and apply and what do we have there okay new mark and type mark okay let's put that on these off and apply and okay right let's load this into the project okay so load into project and close brilliant render ground floor plan escape save i'm going to go to my annotate tab i'm going to tag by category and leader is off i'll just select one of these windows and i'm going to change the scale actually to almost 50. that's the scale i had in mind so it's about the right size okay so there's our mark tag that's our window the, the, the instance mark we can change to any of these types we created to mark dims so it's reporting now the width of the window and the the height of the window uh, we can play in mark and type and uh, mark and type mark mark type mark and dims type mark and type mark and dims that's handy right let's tag them all I'll delete that uh, go to tag all go down to window tags uh, select the mark type mark and dims uh, apply okay now I'm going to turn these two guys vertical because I just kind of like it that way on the ends, All right? And I'm going to move my uh, roof light tags up into the roof windows. Okay. Right. You may have noticed we're looking at some roof lights there. Okay, roof windows, and why are we okay? So the reason is because I have my deliberately I have my view range uh, set quite high for the top right so three and a half meters so it's up at the level where those windows are because I want to be able to tag them in my floor plan okay now but I don't want them to be visible okay so I put a I put a dashed overhead line around the window oops and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the three windows okay right click and override graphics by element and set the transparency to 100 so it's 100 percent transparent tab and okay all right, you can still see them obviously, right? So let's go to modify and use the pick line tool with the invisible line and then just hover over the window somewhere until you find the whole window there like that and click. As I said, I put those overhead lines in before there. So those three windows are still there in the view. So the tags will update as all the tags do. Uh, anyway, that's just a little trick for you. Right, let's go and make the door uh, tags, all right? But thankfully, it's going to be quicker. 
Right, we're going to use our window tag to create the door tag, okay? So this is going to be much quicker than, than it was creating the window tag. So select one of your tags and edit family. Okay, give it a, a new file. So uh, save as family, we'll call it door tag. And save. And all we need to do now is to change the category. So we're, our window tag is reporting all the same parameters that we want for our door tag. So we just go to, to uh, family categories and change it from window tags to uh, door tags. Okay. That's it, loaded project and close. I'm gonna save it, sure we do. And we're in. So escape and annotate, tag by category, door, there it is. We select it and we can do all the same things we did with the window tag. We can put in one of the other types, like so. Okay, brilliant. Delete. If you want to tag them all, we do the same thing, tag all. Click on door tags and we'll change it to the one with the mark, type mark and dimensions and okay. And I might just pick my ones that are uh, perpendicular to the door and change them to parallel by changing them to vertical. Simple as. Job done. That's it. I hope that was useful. Uh, if you liked it or you found this useful, please give it a like on the, on the, the, the little thing there with the thumb. And uh, comments are appreciated. And, uh, and let me know how you get on with it, okay? And if you haven't already, click the thing, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Thanks, guys.